Hello! Welcome to another episode of the Audio Critics. And I know you've been waiting for this video. Maybe not, I don't know. You know, I'm just trying to speculate that you guys want to watch my videos, you know, even if you don't. I'm Philip the Punisher Collins. This is the Audio Critics. You ought to know that if you've been subscribed. If not, you should subscribe before we get any further. Anyways. Howdy. Like I said, I'm filled with Punisher Collins for now. I got to let you guys know, if you've been watching, I got some things in the plans. And, I mean, I have it. There's things that I'm waiting on. And once I get that stuff, then you go see some, some different sides. The three faces of Punisher. Uh, my Punisher hat's getting washed right now because, you know, some shit happened at work and it got worked on and, you know, well, I decided might as well put on a, a witch's hat. Anyways, we're here for the New Mutants. And as you guys know, this is a, the last Fox Searchlight movies that they made. You know, people thought it would be Dark Phoenix. No, it was New Mutants. It was supposed to be Dark Phoenix, but they kept pushing it back and pushing it back until we got to... It's been like a two-year process for this, plus however long it took to to make the movie, and so, you know, three, four, you know. Um, so, New Mutants... I didn't go in there with high expectations because when I hear about reshoots already, I'm like, oh man, that's not that's not a good sign. If you don't know what a reshoot is, it's when a part of the movie, when it gets put in test audience, either it doesn't work and people say this, I don't like this or that, or the executives or producers and all that don't like that, or the studio, and they make them do reshoots, fill in some gaps or fill in some extra materials. Now sometimes uh, reshoots are good. Like the original Godfather. Uh, the movie was only like an hour and 40 minutes long. And then the Paramount, I believe Paramount was the one that came out with it, said that they wanted reshoots and no more Brother Family. And we got the three hour long movie that we did. That's when reshoots work. This on um, did it. First of all, let me tell you a fun fact. Did all these reshoots, okay? And when Disney bought... Uh, Disney Marvel bought Fox Searchlights characters and all that. They, um, after doing all the reshoots, they finally, in March of this year, that's the reason why they were going to bring it out already, was like, nah, we like the movie the way it is. And they decided to not use any of the reshoots. And of course, this is the result. Good things about this movie. Visually, it looked pretty good. Like, the look of it, the character, you know, they had a lot of, um, I wouldn't say like a whole lot of, you know, um, what's it, what would you call it? Character development, but they, but you knew where some, most of these characters are coming from. Especially when you learn about the backstory and all that. Um, the acting was decent until the end. But, that's where I say the downside. CGI. Anytime you got CGI, it's really hard to, to, to do uh, act. You hear about actors having a hard time to, to act towards C CGI anyway. So, what do you expect? I, I didn't expect any. Like, it, it was. Uh, I mean, you obviously, you got you know, like your Avengers and all this. Like I said, this is the last by Fox. So. They didn't have the budget. And then there were supposed to be certain characters in the movie and all that. But the budget was so... It was low compared to all the other superhero movies that they couldn't film all that stuff. And that's why I felt like they went to the direction that they did. Because really, it wasn't too much CGI. But when they did use CGI, like... Um, the main boss, the evil evil spirit bear, or the uh, faceless characters that when the girls were scared scared of, uh, CGI didn't work. 
even when uh, I can't remember uh, Roberto, I think is his name, his character's name, when he would flame up the Human Torch and Fantastic Four back in 2004 looked better than his. So you know, something that's 16 years old looks better than something now. Um, but for entertainment, you know, I, I am a good, I, I do like a good character development. And for the first, like, like this movie's an hour 40 minutes long, okay? So for the first probably like 50 minutes to an hour, you get some character development. Not enough, but, you know, to whether you like a character or not. So for the character development, I, 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 I liked it. But as far as overarching it was entertaining of a movie, I will give it like a 2.5. It was just right in the middle. Nothing spectacular, nothing like that. Uh, does it fit the genre? It's supposed to be a superhero movie? Not a lot of superheroes. So honestly, no, it didn't really fit the genre. And, and then they were portraying like a horror movie, like a Stephen King with the Breakfast Club and, you know, like all that. I didn't see it, besides a couple of scenes. So does it fit the genre? No. I'll give that a two. And as far as longevity, Unfortunately, we come to the point where this is an X-Men movie, no matter what, or an X-Men spinoff, Marvel, Fox Light. So, it's going to have this longevity because of that. But as far as that being a good movie, no. Uh, so, with that, I'm going to give it a three just because of what it's attached to. It's not attached to because it's a good name. It's not, not like a Scarface or anything like that. Now, overall, give it a 5.5 out of 10. Um, other thing I hated about this movie is that, like I was saying about the Stephen King thing, it said it was supposed to, you know, be creepy and like a horror, almost like a horror-based one. No. I was sadly disappointed because that's what I was interested in. You know, that's what, you know, got my intrigue on, onto this thing. It was really more of a, um, say like there's like nightmares come to life. So almost like if Freddy Krueger came to life, but without the scariness of Freddy. Unless you make, do like Nightmare Number Street Part 6, and then, yeah, it's kind of like that, you know, where it's more cheesy than sc scary kind of thing. But I really feel that they fell on their face with what this movie could have been. Um, I mean, I am interested in seeing what the reshoots, if they're going to add that to the DVD, or maybe have like a, a, a cut of that, because, I don't know, maybe, maybe it could have been better, but the director, I can't remember his name, already said that it was made, to, it was supposed to be set up to be a trilogy, and it's not going to be a trilogy anymore, maybe because he knew what was going to happen, I don't know, uh, but the other thing is that he's supposedly supposed to be a big X-Man, New Mutants fan. I didn't see it in this movie. And no disrespect to this guy, but I, he says that it was stressful and all that. And it could have been a studio, the studio's fault because they want their typical, you know, they don't want people to fuck with it, what, they're, what they, uh, their formulas. And anybody you know that's like Fox, Fox don't give a fuck what you think. They're just going to put out a movie. And Marvel don't give a fuck what you think. They're going to put out a movie. So a trucker willing to actually try to make a good movie. It's really hard to do. Um, so unfortunately. This is the result of, of all of that. Um, I will say. It was refreshing. You know. I'm not you know gay or anything like that. And I don't care if you are. I'm not trying to say it like that. But I knew the way that the, uh, these two girls looked at each other, I knew they were to kiss eventually, and they did. I'm like, hey, you know, it's cool that they're they ha uh, they're willing to to go like that in 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 the uh, this kind of movie, just because you don't really see that much in you know superhero movies or comic book movies, whatever you want to call it. But you know, didn't save the movie. Like I said, it's not 
I, I would I would wait for like Redbox and unless they had like the 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 cut that I'm talking about, I wouldn't waste it on on buying the DVD. But that's just me. Like I said, the acting's all right. It gets a little cheesy in some parts, but you know, I ain't no actor, so what can I say? But like I said, I got some things coming up soon. Um, you'll be start seeing some Halloween stuff in the background. That's where I got this hat. Um, yeah, so stay tuned. Keep your eyes peeled. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to go to Instagram and see when I post pictures of videos coming out. Just in case you don't have the bell for reminders on. Um, let's see. Um, don't forget also to comment if you have any movie ideas. And um, yeah, like I always say, stay classy.